Hi, my name is Ale, and today I will be showing you how you can integrate a map in an iOS app using SwiftUI. At Apple's Developers Com Conference in 2020, Apple announced a new map component that makes it easy to integrate maps using SwiftUI without having to use UIKit. Many apps, like Instagram, use maps in their interface, so it is important to know how you can integrate them into your own app. Using maps in SwiftUI is very simple. Let's start by creating a new project. We'll have to use Xcode Beta 12, since this version is not yet public, but I'll give you the link um, down below so you can download this uh, beta version. So let's create a new app, and we'll have to make sure that we're using SwiftUI for the interface and the lifecycle. The first thing we'll have to do to use maps is to import MapKit. Now we'll have to modify the body section of our app to add a map instead of the text that was there previously. Now we have to create a map, so let's try to initialize one. As you can see, there are many different initializers, but we're going to use uh, the one with the coordinate region for now, and this coordinate region is it's just um, what region you want your map to show when the user launches the app. As you can see, this coordinate region is represented by an MK coordinate region, so we'll have to create one of these and provide it to the map. So we can define this MK coordinate region, and we can just create a variable and call it region. There are also different initializers. We're going to use the center and span initializer. The center is just where you want your map to begin. And the span is uh, how much area you, you want your initial map to, to cover. And it's measured in degrees. For the center, we need to provide a CA location coordinate 2D and this is just the latitude and longitude of allocation. For this example, I have the Tokyo coordinates saved, so I'm just gonna type those in. The latitude is 35.67, and the longitude is 139.65. And for the span, I'm just gonna use 0.5 and 0.5 for both values of the MK coordinate span object. Great, so now that we have this region object, we can just provide it as a binding inside the map that we just created. So we have to use the dollar sign and then just type in region. Cool. So now let's try and test our app and see if we can see Tokyo on a map inside the simulator. Cool. So now we can see the simulator showing a map centered in Tokyo. And we can also drag the map around as well as modify the zoom level so we can uh, zoom out and also zoom in to change how much we want to see in the map. Now that we have set up our map, I'm going to show you how we can add pins to the map. And pins can help you, for example, to mark specific locations on the map. And this is very simple to do. So what we'll have to do is modify the way that we're initializing the map. So instead of providing only the coordinate regions, we're going to provide a list of locations that we want to mark on the map. And then we're going to provide a view, or in this case, a map pin um, that will be used to mark each of the locations provided in the list um, using the pin on, on the map. So as you can see, we'll uh, just modify our initializer to use the one that includes annotation items and annotation content. The items is just the list of items or the list of locations, and the content is just um, what content you want 
to use for each of the locations, so the map theme. Uh, the region is provided in the same way. Uh, we'll have to use the dollar sign. And for the annotation items, we have to create a list or a collection of identifiable objects. So we'll create our own struct of locations uh, or calling it location and making sure that it conforms to the identifiable protocol. This is very simple. All we have to do is to provide an ID and we can use Apple's API and just provide a UUID or um, universal, universally unique um, identifier. And this will allow us to conform to identifiable. And we can also add the coordinate of the place that we want to put on our map. And we're going to store it as a CL location coordinate to the object. So now what we're going to do is create a list of uh, location and we can just add any coordinates that we want to mark on the map. In this case, I'm just going to include Tokyo, so the same coordinate that um, we're using uh, above to create the coordinate region. But you can also add any other locations inside this list. So now all we have to do is provide this list called places uh, as the value for the annotation items parameter. And for the annotation content, we're going to take each of these places inside the list. Um, for each place, we're going to create a map pin. And this map pin only will only need uh, one parameter for now which is the coordinate where we want the mapping to be placed. And since the location object stores a coordinate, we can just uh, grab it from, from there. Cool. So if we run our app now, we should see the map centered in Tokyo, as well as a pin that is dropped in the Tokyo coordinates. So let's run it and see. Great, as you can see, we have our map and we have a red pin. So Apple by default provides red pins, but you can also change the color if you wanted to. And this is also very simple. You only have to modify one parameter inside map pin, and that's the tint parameter. Um, this is just a color object. So for example, we can change it to be green. And if we run our app now, we should see a green pin instead of a a red pin. Great. So as you can see, we have our map centered in Tokyo with a green pin. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to subscribe if you want to learn more about iOS app development.